Hey people of the world wide web, it's me, Kat. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about the lies that have been told to us for years. These are the lies that we need to talk about guys because you seriously life will show you things like wow <laughs> these are the top five ways movies slash tv lie about life number one 911 okay so basically this is what happened a couple of weeks back my mom was involved in a car accident don't worry she's fine like literally she just had a scratch on her head and that was it doctor said she was fine once every single emergency person that you can name the fire department the police the ambulance once they all showed up to my house they all did their jobs but that was it I mean it's great that they did their jobs but in my mind I was expecting some action yana like you know when you're watching station 19 or any movie that involves like the ambulance, the fire department, the police, you're thinking, yo, this is it, you're gonna witness some drama and some action and some life saving here that's gonna be bomb and some attractive men. Oh, oh, action, yo, Kanoodla is going to die. Yeah. I was expecting drama, I was expecting thrill and action, but I got nothing. I got to sunk. <laughs> I'm grateful because you guys did save my mom, but wow, was I not disappointed. All I did was fill out so many forms, get asked so many questions, but that was it. Even calling them was so disappointing. Like, I took a first aid class in matric. I was ready, I knew what to say, I was prepared, and this is how the phone call went like. Hello? My name is Katla Khonakedi. I live in a house and my mom has been involved in a car accident. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Sorry, what is your name? Katla Khonakedi. I live in a house and my mother has been involved in a car accident. Oh, okay, Katla Where do you live? Who's been involved in an accident? Sissy, can you hear me? Hello. Number two. Love at first sight. I think this depends on the time and the person. Not to discredit anyone who believes in love at first sight, I think love is a beautiful thing. I am just awkward and shy. In my mind, when I meet B, like it's like a meet cute in the movies. There's a vibe going on in the day, or oh, it's very unexpected in a place that I'm there all the time but then this dude just pops in but he looks at me and I look at him and there's a vibe and things happen I think that's gonna happen in my mind so basically what had happened was I was at the car train station after a long day I was getting off listening to music I read a nice book on the train all the things I was going down the stairs to go to my car so I can leave. So, on the way, I see this cute guy and. <laughs> and he looks at me. And I'm just thinking, is he looking at me? Like, what the heck? Whoa, okay. And then he waves at me. Okay, and then in my mind, I have to just compose myself like, girl, you've got this, you're cute. You got it going on. I'm kind of giving myself a little pep talk here just to give myself the courage to wave back and smile. And I'm thinking, okay, just smile and wave, girl. Smile and wave. So I look at him. I smile and wave. And he didn't pay attention. And I'm like, what's going on now? So then <laughs> I turn around to see he's waving at some other person behind me. The lesson here is, don't just assume, check before you wait. Please learn from my mistake. Number three, the wind in your hair. You be seeing these beautiful girls with beautiful hair, 
looking model-ish and they're out here like flipping their hair in the way looking like this Part of your world. but in reality this is what happens these things only happen in the movies it's not cute trying to look all cute and all the things but then you look like you're hungry and then the closest thing you can eat is your hair number four how teachers run out of time they don't in movies you always see a scenario of a school and teachers are teaching whether they're teaching bad or good but as soon as the bell rings it's over that doesn't happen in real life unfortunately they take your time in real life all you want to do is either go home or go to break but they won't leave you depending on what you were doing in class like if we're watching a movie continue I have no problem but if I'm in a lesson with a teacher and a subject that I don't like let me go please unfortunately I will come back number five women running in heels that is a skill that needs to be put on a cv because wow i take off my shoes to run because running in heels is something i personally cannot do all of us are not like rihanna or crystal like the champagne she sure can run in those heels i can't go to school i can't get no real job But to those who can, feel free to comment in the comments below and educate us on how to do such because, wow, I want to learn. Like, please teach me, sensei. And that is the end of my video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all the nice things. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Anyway guys, I will see you when I see you.